everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Oscar De La Hoya's opponent tonight has a lot of confidence in his ability to bang. Teddy, what would be your advice to the power puncher opposite the Golden Boy? Well, first of all, I would tell him you better have a way to land it. Don't go out there just ringing because De La Hoya has been in there with punches before. He'll know how to make you miss. He'll see it coming. Use your jab. Set up those shots. Whitaker's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Good defensive skill. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Little head knocking with that right Keep hand. Keep moving. Keep moving. 90 seconds to go here in this round. What should we see out of the Golden Boy tonight, Teddy? Well, I think his greatest strength is his body, his size. I mean, he's tall, he's rangy, he has a real good left jab. You know, use those assets. Stand on the outside, let everything start with the jab. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Oscar De La Hoya's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keep going. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. For the well-being of their fighter, his corner may need to stop this fight. Yeah, the well-being of now and tomorrow, because this is the kind of beating that's going to impact him tomorrow, take his confidence away. Maybe never be the same fighter if they don't stop it at the right time. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in a fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it's start depositing it into that bank. Go to the body. Yeah, because the interest comes later, and you're going to see the payoff in the late out. A solid true uppercut by Oscar De La Hoya. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. That is a strong uppercut there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. De La Hoya's covered with his blood right now. That cut just opened up something fierce. And you know, you wonder about the psychological damage or potential damage of that. You know, does that affect him where he gets a little down? Does that affect his opponent where maybe his opponent gets a little reckless? Big left hand from De La Hoya. De La Hoya is showcasing 
one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. The ref is stopping the fight. The swelling just much too much. That's it. TKO, technical knockout.